Hey everybody, thanks for checking us out. I wanted to introduce to you our new 55 gallon automatic chicken waterer that I just built with a 55 gallon food grade drum with 10 chicken waterer cups here on the bottom. So what happens is they, uh, we fill this full of water, they come and peck here and this fills up with water just as they peck at this little yellow thing. It's a spring loaded valve and it allows water to come into the cup this will be a real quick one so a lot of the videos i've watched they remove the lid completely i personally did not want to do that i wanted the ability to have a hinge lid uh, i left the bungs in here so that in the winter months or the cooler months when if i wanted to throw in a tank heater also known as a pond heater i can drop that in i can pull the i can drop that in here pull the cord up through the bung, plug it in, and just set this back on there to keep the uh, leaves or whatever. Um, once the sun hits this, I just did this. So once the sun hits here, this should flatten out a little bit. It's still kind of stiff and cold, but it should flatten out and close nicely. Just Or I can set a brick on here to keep it shut. Here's what I used, folks. The chicken cups there on the bottom, there's 10 of them. Uh, they're not evenly spaced, but uh, anywhere from 10 to 12 inches apart. They are on Amazon. I ordered a pack of 20 or 25, I can't quite remember. And it was like uh, 20 bucks, so fairly cheap. The 55 gallon drum I got from a local Amish supply store uh, here in Western Pennsylvania. It cost me $15 for a food grade used 55 gallon poly drum. I used my sawzall. I literally cut in half right across here around the edge and screwed the hinges down with uh, those are just regular door hinges. That's what I had and some galvanized uh, screws with lock nuts so I don't need washers or lock washers and I can literally fill this up. This is going to feed a hundred meat birds or provide water for a hundred meat birds for the next six to seven weeks. Sorry about the car driving by. Motorcycle actually. And it should provide enough water for at least three days. So if I happen to go away for the weekend, I can fill this up on a Friday. And by the time I get back on Sunday, I should be ready to fill it back up. I have two of them currently in place with uh, one, two, three, four waterers just for our laying flock and it allows enough water for a week. So, and it's not in direct sunlight. It's kind of out of, if it starts to get a little funky, we're only in the end of April here. Granted today's 80 degrees, it's a little warmer than normal, but I'll take it. Uh, if it gets funky, I just dump it out. If these happen to break, or these happen to get some crud in them, so these here, you just literally twist these off, and now I can take this into the sink, I can clean this, and when I'm ready, I can, you know, I mean, I can clean this up here. When I'm ready, I just slide this back on top, twist, and they lock over. Uh, again, I just found the cheapest one for the most amount of money on Amazon. Yeah, they're from China. Uh, I'm not a real big fan of that. But I am a real big fan of growing my own food. So, I, like I said, 100 meat chickens, Cornish cross. They're, getting, they're just starting to get feathered out. And they'll be going outside here hopefully by the end of the week. And here by the 1st of June or so, they'll be going in the freezer. But like I said, just a, uh, these are the screws I used. Here's another one of these I'm going to make. Uh, this is, I'm, I'm short a hinge. But these are literally just 3 quarter inch uh, galvanized screws with some lock washers on or excuse me lock nuts on the back so i don't need a washer and just a regular gate hinge so hope you enjoyed guys enjoy your evening thanks for checking me out there's a those are for future feed barrels this one here like i said homemade chicken water uh i think i with all the connectors we'll, we'll say i got 20 i got 35 hinges are another 5 10 40 under 50 bucks and, and honestly guys i know you could spend 
to get the same amount of water volume in five gallon waterers at tractor supply or any other farm store or even on amazon delivered to your house i don't know that you could do what i did for fifty dollars if you can great do it but just an idea here to make things a little simple again i used the saws all that i had with a demo blade i cut it across the middle cut around the edge i used a drill bit and a couple wrenches and i put the screws in it's just it made things really simple uh, i'm thinking i might have fifty dollars in it again thanks for checking us out sorry it's uh i'm a little long-winded if i'm repeating myself forgive me i'm not real used to this on camera thing thanks for checking out the Crichton family adventures where we do it the real way have a great night